Hey there guys, uh, welcome to the 31st installment of Daily Word Webs to Build the Cat. Today we will roots the roots. They are uh, scrib and scrib. They stand for to write something. And uh, it was a book that was written in our school. Ke uh, I think it was uh, maybe in uh, 5th, 6th or 7th standard. I don't recall exactly. Its title used to be Write, Write. And it, was, it had, uh, so far as I recall, uh, it had something to do with, uh, you know, writing properly really like writing essays properly or you're using grammar correctly something on those lines so yeah anyhow so let's start with the root so guys the root stands for uh, write as i said uh, to write something or to record something uh, that's what uh, scrib or script stand for they uh, they both have their origin in the latin language uh, other similar root uh, that we shall be discussing which also has a similar meaning is graph or graphian uh, which I think is Greek, uh, is, is from the Greek language, uh, has Greek origins, which we will discuss in the sessions. Pe discuss karenge, hai? So let's start with the words now. So uh, we have studied ab about this uh, root sub, right? Uh, I think uh, not as part of an episode, but as part of, but, but on, a, on a secondary basis, we have studied about this root sub, which, in, which is a Latin term for below uh, or underneath right uh, so, so sub so similarly subscript jo aapka hai aapko yaad hoga chemical formulas hame uh, jo chemistry jab hum padhte the school mein so for example if you have h2o so 2 is not written in the same uh, at the same uh, level as hno right it's written somewhere down is thoda sa niche aur right side mein likha ja raha hai hk right and this is exactly what subscript is subscript is, is something that is written just below sub is for below right so this will be your subscript similarly uh, suppose I was to write x square, agar main x square likhne jau, then obviously it becomes, then this 2 is being written uh, on the uh, above x, right? Agar ye upar likha gaya hai, and then above ke liye aapka kya root hota hai? The root for above uh, in Latin, I think it's Latin, yes, it's, it's for, in Latin is super, S-U-P-E-R. Okay, I think uh, super luminal and sub subluminal karke humne shabd sikhe the in the very initial episodes of the series, right? Super luminal are, are uh, any, any particle that travels at a speed above that of light uh, would be super luminal and subluminal are uh, entities that travel at a speed lower than or below that than the speed of light. Hana? Anyhow, so this will be like jaise aapka ye subscript hai, uh, ye, uh, the way you have a subscript here, similarly you have a superscript here. Okay, so these are terms for uh, subscript and superscript. Now the next term that we have here is transcript, right? So often uh, people talk about, okay, so do you have a transcript of the interview, right? And sometimes uh, whenever you, uh, there are kuch kuch podcast hote hai, jaha pe, uh, uh, they also allow you, they also provide you a written summary, not, not exactly a summary. In fact, uh, the verbatim, verbatim means, verbatim ka matlab hota hai, word by word, by the way. Uh, a verbatim record of the whole podcast, right? Like exactly koi ek, uh, speaker kya bol raha hai, ek shabd ke baad, like word by word kya bol raha hai, usko pura jab likh ke de diya jai, to usko bola jata hai transcript. And transcript comes from two roots. The second part is obviously script that stands for to write something or to record something. And trans is basically a word, I, I think we have, we have, we have uh, on a secondary basis, we have, we, have look, we have looked at this word, which basically stands for across something. Trans means across something something okay uh, so so like like you have uh, transfer where fur is the root for uh, to, to carry so that means transfer means to, to carry across transport is again to go from one place to another right port ek jage se dusri jage pe aap ja rahe hain transport anyhow so transcript basically uh, agar etymologically dekha jaye transcript basically is uh, would mean to write across or, or basically uh, transfer some information from one place to another. Take a ek jagi information available thi aapne usko aap dusri jagi aapne unsko transfer kar diya. This in initial the, the earlier place where it was available might have been an audio or uh, video format or medium. Uske baad usko lick ke written format mili hai. So and then now it has become a transcript. Okay, so transcript is a printed or written version of dictated or recorded content. So the transcript of an interview, for example. Chalo, ye ho gaya. Then uh, you have, uh, okay, transcript say, uh, uh, there are many times, uh, you know, when, when talking about uh, shows or movies or sitcoms, sitcoms is, by the way, uh, the short form for situational comedies. 
काफी लोगों को पता ही होगा ऑलरेडी एनी हाउ सो सो ऐसे ही काफी बार जब ये शोज की बात होती है यू नो दोज डोंट ऑलवेज हैपन इम प्रॉम टू राइट द पीपल फर्स्ट राइट एक कहानी लिखी जाती है ना एंड दर राइटर इन्वॉल्व सो होपफुली सो एन एंड राइटर जो चीज लिखता है जो कहानी लिखता है जिसके ऊपर आपका पूरा का पूरा प्ले आपकी मूवी या फिर आपका पूरी शो बेस्ड होगा इज कॉल्ड अ स्क्रिप्ट ओके दैट्स वाई यू कॉल दम स्क्रिप्ट राइटर्स स्क्रिप्ट राइटर्स आर पीपल लाइक हुल राइट द स्क्रिप्ट विद द डायलॉग्स इन एवरीथिंग सो दैट विल बी अ स्क्रिप्ट हैंड रिटन एंड जनरली इट विल बी हैंड रिटन लाइक इट विल बी रिटन मैनुअली जनरली नॉट नेसेसरली बाई द वे हाँ बट Uh, this reminds me of another term which is manuscript you must have heard of manuscript i'm sure now manuscript is uh, uh, comes from the first part manus comes is stands for hand okay h a n d hand and uh, script is for to write that means a manuscript is basically something that is written by hand although these days the meaning of the word has changed uh, now what it, uh, not uh, Not change, but rather, rather evolved. It has it has. Thora sa halka sa alteration aage hai isme. Now manuscript doesn't just stand for something that has been written by hand, like like literally written by hand, but rather by but rather it stands for the original work, original drafted work of an author. For example, maan lijiye. So Yuval Noah Harari is one of the authors who, uh, whose books are doing rounds these days, right? Apne uh, sapiens padi hogi ya fir aur bhi kitabe hain. So 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 the very first draft that he must have typed or he must have uh, written by himself right jo pehla khud ka draft hoga uh, that would be considered his manuscript because that is his original draft okay the original draft of the writer of or an or an author is known as a manuscript by the way so that's manuscript for you uh manus jo aapka root hai is root ko bhi hum log uh, will will look at this root in detail in the upcoming sessions uh so chalo so transcript aapka ho gaya manuscript ho gaya next what we have here is uh, proscribe now uh, proscribe guys uh, it basically comes from uh, pro stands in uh, pro in latin ye jo aapka pehla root hai pro uh, the first root is pro which in latin stands for in front of or before right in front of in this case in front of is more uh, appropriately applicable so in front of and proscribe scribe is to write that means when you ड्रॉ अ लाइन इन फ्रंट ऑफ समथिंग किसी चीज के आगे आप अगर एक रेखा ड्रॉ कर देते हैं ऑलमोस्ट लाइक इन माई जो ये हमारी क्या रामायण में है राइट लक्ष्मण रेखा वेन यू ड्रॉ अ लाइन इन फ्रंट ऑफ समथिंग यूर वेन सज दैट सो एज टू रेस्ट्रिक्ट देर एक्टिविटी और देर मूवमेंट दैट मीन्स यूर वॉट यूर एसेंशियल डूइंग यूर इज यूर यूर योर प्रोस्क्राइबिंग योर प्रोस्क्राइबिंग और यूर फॉरबिडिंग सम वन और डिस अलाउंग सम वन टू डू समथिंग बाई लॉ राइट आप वहां पे एक वहां पे कानून खड़ा कर रहे हैं एंड यू आर बेसिकली आप उनको बोल रहे हैं कि आप ये चीज नहीं कर सकते दिस हैज दिस इज प्रोस्क्राइब बाय लॉ सर्टेन एक्टिविटी और गोइंग आउट ड्यूरिंग कर्फ्यूज इज प्रोस्क्राइब्ड बाय लॉ ओके चलो सो प्रोस्क्राइब हो गया देन यू हैव पोस्ट स्क्रिप्ट ओके नाउ आई थिंक वन ऑफ द बुक्स अंडर ग्रैड में या फिर कब वन ऑफ द बुक्स सिसीलिया something was the name of the book and uh, the book's title was something on the lines of ps i love you right uh, and uh, <clears throat> this title this book mai puri to nahi pad paya tha us samay but i had taken up i had read a few pages of that and then i later on switched the movie anyhow wo jo bhi ho but but this ye jo aapka ye jo ps yahan likha hota hai na yahan pe generally which which people use quite often these days uh, is known as this ka full form hota hai aapka post script and post script is nothing but Uh, any additional information uh, that has been mentioned after the main body of a letter often these days people used ps or postscript as uh, as a medium to convey something that they want to convey on a very low key level matlab zyada kuch is pe discussion kiye bina by the way like like they almost use use it uh, uh, for like uh, as a substitute for by the way or maybe fyi etc right fyi is for your information and btw uh, is by the way aajkal aise use hota hai although iska jo purpose tha wo kafi different tha pehle uh, so in earlier times uh, you know so when you would have these uh, what do you say uh, letters jo aapke hua karte the uh, and uh, wait dekho maine pura scroll draw kar diya hai aap so when when people used to have these letters uh, in earlier times uh, 
सो लेटर लिखते समय लेट सपोज उन्होंने काफी कुछ लिख दिया बहुत सारा बॉडी बहुत सारी चीजें बताई एंड एंड आफ्टर दे हैव रिटर्न द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ द लेटर जहां पे वेर देव सेट देट ओके योर सिंसियरली और रिगार्ड एक्सेट्रा एंड देव ऑलमोस्ट एंड द लेटर वो पूरा लेटर वो एंड कर चुके हैं एंड नाउ दे रिकॉल क्योंकि अरे अरे यार नाउ आई एक्चुअली वॉन्ट टू राइट और मैंशन समथिंग एल्स इज वेल जो कि मैं बताना भूल ही गया है ना सो देन वॉट दे वुड डू इज now they would not go on and like uh, waste resources and get a new scroll and uh, get some ink and again start writing the whole thing again but rather what they would simply do is ki wo pura likhne ke baad wo niche se thodi si jagah bachi hogi wahan pe they'll write ps or postscript and then they'll write the information that they ended that they forgot writing or mentioning as part of the main body of the letter wo wahan pe wo mention kar denge that's why it's called postscript post means after right in this case post stands for after and post script means ki after having written the main body of the letter what the additional information that you provide after that is the post script okay anyhow chalo aage chalte hain let's move on to circumscribe now circumscribe circum stands for around and it's a root uh, that that we have come across now and again hai na hum to kafi bar ye root dekh chuke hain to circumscribe stands for around and scribe again well uh, circum stands for around my bad and scribe comes from script or script that stands for right so circumscribe basically means to draw a line around something or someone maybe literally to nahi hoga but but more 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 in a figurative sense so for example if you want to restrict the freedom of a person you essentially circumscribe your uh, you you your your figurative in a figurative sense you're in a metaphorical sense you're drawing a line around there uh, around the around them uh, obviously figurative bol raha hu main literal nahi ha uh, so that it, it, Like, like what you're doing essentially is you're trying to curtail their freedom to carry out certain activities, right? So to, to draw a line around something is to circumscribe. Literal meaning is to draw a line 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 around something, and figurative meaning jo hota hai to limit or restrict uh, someone's freedom or uh, or to limit or restrict something. Almost like proscribe, okay? Almost like forbidding something. So that's about uh, the words for today. I think yeah yeah we have covered the words we wanted to cover. All right, so let's move on to the sentences now. at this point guys you can uh, pause the video and go through the uh, sentence usages of these words uh, you know by going through these sentences that have been listed here and as you can see these have been sourced from uh, some reliable sources uh, the credits have been mentioned here okay so you can do that here you can again pause the video and uh, test yourself you just need to find the correct order of sentences which have been shuffled so that the right sentence you know is along with the right word the words are fixed on the left side you can also attempt this test via a google form uh, the link to which has been provided in the description so guys uh, here is the summary of the roots and words that we studied on a primary and secondary basis what you can do is you can pause the video if you want uh, and, and uh, try to recall the meaning of these roots and the words that we discussed in the session today सो गैस सो फार इज माई प्रोफाइल एंड क्रेडेंशियल आर कंसर्न मैंने उसके लिए अलग से एक वीडियो यहाँ पे बना दिया है जैसे कि हर बार दो तीन मिनट इसमें ज़्यादा ना करने पड़े uh, फिर भी अगर आपको शॉर्ट में रीड करना है तो यहाँ पॉज करके यू कैन रीड ऑल ऑफ दिस कॉन्टेंट अबाउट मी बट इफ यू गो टू द वीडियो यू ऑल्सो गेट टू सी द रिव्यूज ऑफ द कोर्स दैट आर कंडक्टेड ऑन अदर प्लेटफॉर्म्स इन द पास राइट सो गो ऑन चेक दर आउट इफ यू वॉन्ट सो दैट्स अबाउट दैट एंड यहाँ पे दिस इज दिस लिंक विल टेक यू टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियo. and this should take you to the very first video of the series if you are new to the session okay so that's about it see you in the next one